So understand that when you watch the news yesterday with the comparison of the town halls, which obviously wasn't really a town hall, it was one was a discussion, the other one was trying to turn into a beatdown, but it turned into a beatdown the opposite direction. It, you saw the difference there. And why was there a difference there? Because like the mainstream media, you and I all know this, the mainstream media is actually the tank of the Democrat Party. You you know that, but what most people don't have, you know, you think through this, okay? The MSNBC, NBC, ABC, CBS, regular viewer or CNN viewer, they do not know the information that you know if you've been looking at alternate media. You do not, they don't know. And you have to, you just have to just, just acknowledge that, that they don't know the difference. They're thinking that they actually are getting the news. They think it, they're thinking that they're actually getting a fair perspective. But you saw what it looked like. I mean, they can look basically the, the difference, okay? How one person's treated over the other. This is where, this is where you see the, the, the reality of what this social justice stuff actually is. You can declare someone to be whatever you want them to be, okay? A bad person, a good person, a yada yada person, whatever. And you can treat them accordingly and then spread that to other people because that's your perspective. So you are receiving the perspective based off of these newscasters, these agencies, these networks on what they believe about the president and the president's followers and people who actually support them. So they make up the narrative, they push that to the public, and then the public is left to just digest what these people say, whether it's right or wrong. So it's not a unbiased perspective, it's a very biased perspective. And that biased perspective was made evident yesterday. So when you're when you see the president get yelled at by the actual supposedly the moderator, and when you realize that the previous moderator that was supposed to actually moderate the debate that was supposed to happen, but then that person was discovered to be a Biden staffer, it was also discovered that their Twitter, even though the guy said his Twitter account got hacked, he actually was the one writing those disparaging things about the president. You realize that this is not this is not a normal situation. This is actually a situation where these people have an agenda, and that agenda is to push the Democrat, the Democrat Party to victory. But what's happening though? You have movements and you have people who are just like you and me, who want things to be fair. You want, in your heart, I say, I say in all fairness, intrinsically, a person wants things to be fair, unless they have like a, a blind partisan bias. I mean, there's some people out there who are like that. But even in that, see like, when you look at like the walk away campaign, okay, you have people who were like that, who were blatantly like, I just, when I see a, a D on the, on my voter ballot, I'm voting D, okay? It doesn't matter what they actually stand for or anything like that. You see with the Ice Cube thing happening right now, you know, he might have voted D before because it's supposedly there's four black people. But you start asking questions. You start asking like the legitimate questions, okay? If they're really for black people, why was the vice presidential candidate, why was she so prone to lock up black men in the Bay Area and as a AG? Why did the, the actual presidential can, uh, candidate, why was he the author of that 94 crime bill and why were so many black males incarcerated because of that legislation why did that same person talk about the educational racial jungles that he didn't want his kids involved in and why was this guy he's able to keep his kid off out of jail while he was putting black people in jail why are these things why are those things happening and see this is what happens folks that are just asking intellectually honest questions those people are the ones who say wait this isn't right what they're doing, what they're saying isn't right. So what they'll try to do is they try to do what Savannah, whatever her name, last name is, they try to bring up the race issue. The dude, Trump's basically dispelled that, that issue over and over and over again, but they have to bring it up because they have to push the narrative because they need the minority vote. They need people who are, you know, black or Mexican, any other South American, Central American uh, uh, nationality, anybody who might be from uh, any other place in the, around the world. They have to be talk to as if they're children who don't know their own, what's good for them because this bad orange orange white man is going to hurt them. That's not the truth. And you've seen that in even the legislation that's, that's come through from President Trump and the things that he's actually done for the black community. That's why Ice Cube's getting jacked right now. Okay, That's why I thought, and Ice Cube can handle himself. He's not even worried about it. But he basically reached out and asked some questions and was, oh yeah, we'll get to you after the election. 
there was no discussion about creating a plan. It was, we'll get to you afterwards. <coughs> but then on the other side, it was, okay, let's have a discussion. So one side sat down, one side didn't. And there's the apologist for that to say, well, he's not the president. He can't, you know, he can't do anything. Oh, yes, he can. He can come up with plans and speak to people within the within these groups and find out what's actually needed versus I'm going to tell you what's needed. And then like every other year, every two years, four years, drop into, you know, these neighborhoods, talk about all the good, all the bad things that are happening because of bad white people and then get black people and all of everybody else to vote for you and then do nothing for the communities. That's what actually these people have been doing. It's just about power and position. And, and push the agenda to keep black people where they're at because these are elite black folks that actually do that stuff. And this is what's become more evident. More and more people are finding this out and are fair-minded and are realizing that not only are they attacked for changing their mind, but they're seeing just how little has actually been done. If systematic racism has, has existed for all this time, then the people who have been in office for that time, Joe Biden, Nancy Pelosi, okay, these folks have been working their magic in political sphere for years, decades. And this supposed systematic racism that's now supposedly this major issue, even though we had a black president, these things would have been taken care of a long time ago, but they were never even in existence until this political election because that's what BLM and Tifa want to, want to accentuate. They want to go to things that are, that are, that are part of their campaign, that are part of their base. It's the race, you know, the race grievance stuff that Bob Woodson talks about. So I just want you to understand this. When you looked at the stuff yesterday, you saw the dichotomy. You saw the difference. And now you get the sort of people in the American, the American people get the rest in that difference. But you as an individual who wants to be fair, talk about that difference. Just speak about it. Did you notice like what happened to Joe Biden? Did you notice what happened to Donald Trump? Did you notice how they were talked to? Do you notice that the individual that was actually interviewing Donald Trump, he actually was a Clinton staffer. Do you know that how deep he was actually in, in the Clinton campaign for president? Do you know these things? Do you know what Savannah, her role actually is in the Democratic Party as well too? Do you know what these networks have actually been in the tank for the Democrat Party as well? Ask the questions and find out what these people say when they actually are presented with this information. Because when you spread that and you talk about it in real terms, then people, the, the synapses start connecting. People start realizing, oh, wait a minute. There's actually a narrative here. And they're pushing the agenda because they need these people to all stay in line. And as you get out of that, you get off of it, you see it, you're washing the couch. I was getting so irritated, but she, like, you know, just other people on the couch too, they're getting irritated because they were able to see the difference. But the folks on that TV, the ones that think that they control the narrative, those people are losing power. That's why these people are freaking out. That's why their campaign with this Joe Biden, Hunter Biden thing, that's why it's the big social media tech industry, they are freaking out as well too because they got to keep this stuff quiet because those folks on the TV are really, are finding out that not only are their claims baseless, but the people that are on that couch are seeing just how hypocritical they actually are. Seriously.